hello everyone, I'm Yanni from the UVU Gaming and today we are back in Crita Cove and I think I'm actually gonna put my lantern away because I don't play much during the night when I'm recording so it's just one more inventory slot that uh, I'm gonna have empty right which is always handy um, and def this I definitely want I'm gonna have to make another trunk I think so we have something for gardening where we can have our seats and we have our watering can and stuff um but yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff we have to set up there and i want to have all the food sorted out and things like that but we will get there with everything uh, for right now i want to make sure to check over here of course um because we have to make sure to actually water everything and you can actually just kind of walk i only pressed e once and then i just kind of walked along here and uh Oh, this one has already started kind of growing a little bit. That is, is so cool. Um, and that means I don't really need... Well, for now, I'm just going to keep it on me. But I think usually I would just have a chest right next to it. And then kind of... Well, how much do we need? What do we need for a chest? If I want to make another trunk... Uh, that's over here. Oh, hello. This unit is impressed with meat person's craftsmanship. Uh, Fryer continues to exceed this unit's expectations. Looms are very useful crafting stations that will help Fryer continue to make a better town. Oh, it's because we made the loom, of course. Haha. <laughs> this unit has completed the repairs in the lighthouse. Please stand back while it removes the scaffolding. Um, <laughs> I think he was supposed to be over there, but because we still had the loom quest, he ended up being here instead. Um, but he was supposed to stand in, in front of the lighthouse. Please inform Checkmark that the lighthouse is operational. This unit does not wish to speak with Checkmark because of reasons. He is aware of his prior actions. Um, okay. That sounds like a very human reaction. <laughs> uh, surprising when it comes to a kind of a robot thing. Thank you. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. E basic trunk. Mm -hmm. You know, nope, nope, nope. Let's just leave that for now. I have so many other things I want to do right now, so it is okay. Let's go and see if we can find check mark because then we can we really want to get all this tourism stuff going so we can start making some monies. Hey, you're back, and it looks like you've gotten that lighthouse working again. Now people will know Critter Cove is open for business. You'll not get a lot of people at first, but with time, effort, and a bit of money, I'm sure you can turn this town into a prime destination. I'm just finishing up here, and will have my stand open in just a few moments. While I'm doing that, you should go talk to Renard again and let him know that everything is coming along according to plan. Ew, okay. Um... OT is tourism. Oh, we got another tab here now. Cool. Okay, so we can have five tourists at this stage. We're going to up, um, be able to upgrade that. Radio forecast. I think we have to actually make a radio before we can actually use or see anything down here. Ooh, worker accidents. That doesn't look good. Then we can see how much money, I guess, that we get from each of these once we get them opened. Ooh, and even from all kinds of stuff here, total profit. Okay, and then we can see that there are all kinds of different shops here um, that eventually we'll be able to open. Right now we only have the workshop. It doesn't actually show us them yet until we have opened some of them, but there we go. Nice. And then I wanted to mention one thing with the chest. I was talking about it last time when we were over on Hot Tropic. Uh, that I couldn't actually place that chest down that I had in my inventory and that is intended. I got a very, very, very swift reply when I asked about it in the Discord and one of the developers said that it is intended. They have changed it so we are not able to just pop a trunk down somewhere uh, and use that trick but eventually, uh, well, uh, I think we already can in early access. I'm not yet that far but we'll be able to upgrade our ship and then that way we can kind of bring storage with us. We'll just have to use the ship instead, which makes perfect sense. You know, the other one is just, you know, a trick. <laughs> but I've been used to used to it in the in the previous version, so I was a little ah, why can I not do this? Uh, but it's okay. 
Would you look at that bright, bright shining light? Soon Critico will be overrun with tourists just clamoring to spend their coin on all we have to offer. All thanks to you, of course, but we can't rest on our laurels. Now we must offer our guests food, entertainment, shopping, things to get them to spend their lovely, lovely coin. Fixing up all the damaged shops, crafting items that tourists like around town, these are things tourists will pay for. I think the first thing we will want to focus on is getting the old cafe fixed up. Hungry tourists don't spend their coin after all. Copperbottom will be able to fix it up, talk to Checkmark and see if he has any cafe blueprints for sale. I know those tourism board people sell stuff like that. Ooh, okay. Well, I don't have any money, but let's see how much it is. Oh, that's perfect. You just finished your little uh, booth here. How may I help you today, Freya? Uh, let's see what you have for sale, first of all. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of stuff here. So a bonus tourist package increases the number of tourists that will arri arrive in Critico by five. Of course, we're going to want to do this eventually because... You know, the more people we have, the more people will spend money, and that way we can get more money. But it also, it's 1,000 balloons, and I only have 15. So that's kind of in the future, but let's just have a quick look. There's the cafe blueprint, which we're going to need, so we need 200 for that. And then there's clothing shop, furniture store, bait shop, and a tavern. Um, there's some other items here, like a hammock, a snack shack, easel standing parasol and then there's actual items so these ones are so we can craft them ourselves and then we can also just buy them if we don't want to be able to craft more bikini cut out place in your house or in town ah yes okay so it's where you can place your house or your face you know you look through and then there's like a body picture here um lifeguard chair that would probably be a good idea to have too uh, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that we are going to be able to do here. So we are going to have to uh, make some money. Of course, we could sell some stuff, but uh, I'm not in that much rush. I do want to get these things going, but I have so many other things going on right now. So I'm not really actually in that, you know, that much hurry. But it's nice that now we can kind of start getting uh, working on the tourists. Um, so let's have a little look here and see. What is all this stuff that we have to do? We need to talk to Barnacle. I do need to buy this. Do I only have four quests left? Oh, it's because I have all these extra things here that I also need to do. Um, <laughs> so I think one of the first things I want to do is go and talk to Barnacle. Let's get that out of the way because we do want to uh, get going with some fishing, right? Yeah, I watered my crops. That is good. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to try. If I just do this and left click. Okay, that was nice and simple. So can I actually catch something? Oh, 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 okay. It's that type of mini game. Not my, not really my favorite. Oh, I'm, I'm so not a fan of mini games like this at all. It's kind of... <laughs> so definitely not my favorite. Um, it's going to be my favorite game to fish in, that's for sure, because I really do not like these type of mini games. But it's okay. It's kind of expected. I guess that's usually how it is in these games. Uh, but who knows? We'll see what people think about it. If with some luck, maybe the developers will implement like a different version or a, a relaxed version of fishing which i really like i prefer the type where you just you know throw it out like this and then oh you hadn't actually bit it yet that's okay and then you just pull when the fish bites right instead of these weird mini games which i don't have the patience for but it's a matter of preference some people like it others don't oh there oh there we go well i did get something Okay, so I got a gubber and so far a bad fish. Should we try and get one more? Okay, but I do like that we can see the fish. It just adds a little bit to it. See, we can see. Oh, something is coming and it's nibbling. There we go. And then, oh, just 
trying to. It's not been too too hot so far, but I'm sure there's gonna be some fish that are gonna be harder. And we got a fancy tail chomper. Cool. Okay, well, let's go over to Barnacle and see what that quest is all about because it might actually be a or he might actually have a quest that we have to go and catch some fish for him or something or maybe he wants to move back to Quidditch Quidda Co too, right? I oh, look at I love this little boat. Like oh. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. And let's see. Look at this. I have my own fishing pole now. Would you look at that pole? She's a real beauty. Nothing like my Polena, of course, but a pole any fisher woman would be proud of. Hmm, you'll need to test her out. Only way to test out a new pole is to catch some fish. This island has a few nice and easy fish swimming around its shores. They practically catch themselves. How about you catch me five gobber? Okay, I got one already. That should be a nice beginner challenge. Just toss your line in the water and wait for a strike. Hook the fish, then keep it in your pole sweet spot to reel them in. Simple as can be. When you catch those fish, come back and show me. Inked, I'm so excited to see a young angler start their journey. Uh, okay, cool. I wonder to see if anything has been replenished here. Because we did have that, but yeah, I don't think it was a storm. The, the, the rain that we had a couple of days ago, I don't think that was an actual storm. There's at least nothing here and I would have thought it would have replenished things like the eggs, for instance. Because otherwise I have no idea how to get more eggs, unless there's going to be some kind of animal husbandry thing going on, but I don't know. They did say, however, that there's going to be a roadmap published on Monday, which is probably before this video, so it's probably already out by the time this video comes, or it will come out on the same day. Uh, they will probably publish it on Steam, I assume, so that people can see what they have planned uh, during early access, so that's going to be exciting. Um, I am at least really excited to see what it, they uh, have in store for us, because there's already so many things to do. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. If we can catch one of these. Or more of these gubbers. Okay. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yep. It's just a matter of patience, right? <laughs> oh, I got squidlets. It's a new one as well. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another thing. I wish that, that, that would also be cool if they had a journal for that. So you could see not where all the fish are caught. Not until you have caught them, right? But one that you when you that gets filled out as you... As you... Um, oh, come on. As you catch the... Uh, the different fish and then once you have caught the fish it will tell you in there where you actually caught it so you don't have to remember um oh where did i caught it catch this or that fish oh they're so busy those fishies over there okay so far i'm not really getting any gobbles okay oh let's see oh that looks like a gobble yep nice Okay, I'm kind of using my mouse. I'm just gonna test and see if we can actually use like space or something instead. Just to see if you can use the keyboard instead of the mouse. You don't have to do so much. No, it doesn't work for... See, that failed. I was trying to see if I could strike with... Lift. Well, I assumed it's gonna be space, but it might have been another key. It might have been E or something. But actually, it was more for the bar I wanted to test it. So, there we go. No. At least space doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't look like anything works on the keyboard. I was trying WASD and E and F and uh, space. <laughs> it might be a completely different one, but that was the ones I could think of that might work. So, it looks like we do have to use the, ma the mouse for this. At least on PC. 
I'm actually not even sure if the game is out on any other platforms right now. I don't think so. I suspect they're gonna go for Switch and stuff eventually, but I don't. I think it's only on PC currently. I don't really follow any of the other platforms because I don't play I, any of them. I do actually have a PS... Yes, that's a PS4, but I really, really, really don't like playing with a controller. Let's see if we can get one more. I know we need five, but I would like to have one for myself. Um, but yeah, I don't really don't like to play with a controller, so I haven't really used my PS4 that much, but probably will again at some point. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. Nope. <laughs> I am so terrible at this and I have zero patience for it. There we go. What did I get? I got another squid. Let's okay, let's go and see. What's next? Bear wins to you. Here we go. I have the fish you wanted. Just look at these beautiful fish. It's so beautiful. Hold it together, Barnacle. I can't help it. Seeing the first catch from a new angler is just too much emotion for me to keep inside. You've made this old fisherman proud. A natural born fisherwoman you are. Okay, I'm fine now. Did you know that fish are not only great for cooking, but they're also an excellent source of oil. Just need to smash them up all good like. Fish facts. You've done such a good job, I feel like I should teach you something else. Fish racks are stylish and bring just the right odour, 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 how do you say that? Right odour <laughs> to any fish village. Take care, Freya. Keep practicing and I bet you'll be taking on the real monsters of the sea soon. These fish aren't gonna catch themselves. But I hope that's the type of fish... Uh, Monsters, the only types of sea monsters we'll have, we'll be able to just fish them up. Yeah. As long as they stay away from me when I'm down uh, diving, then I'm happy. There we go. Well, can I get you to move? Fair winds to you. Let's talk. Fishing is good today. Uh, okay. Well, maybe you don't want a mission move into town. Didn't get any new quests, did we? No. Yeah, I guess we'll have to check back on you. And then see. Um, okay, well, we got a little bit of this going on. We're gonna have to do some more fishing for sure. Uh, but for right now, go over here. Let's just do this so I can see what I have in my inventory. Um, because I think this was the one. Yeah, this is the one from the um, the kitty statue out here. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna go and see if we can do that. Okay, uh, which means whoop, we're gonna go this way. Hmm, be right over there, I think. Yep. Do do. Oh, is the hmm? Also something out there. That's what I was looking at last time. Nope. Let's focus. Let's just try and go here first. Do do. Oh, and I have to. Yeah, I have to craft that resource scanner. I have to remember that too. Ooh, maybe we can get some more, more stuff for our cooking here. Right. Ooh. Okay, let's grab it. Okay, we're getting also, I think we also got a little bit of wood. But mostly these things tend to give stuff for cooking, which is really nice. Mm hmm I think it was on the back side of the island, maybe. Let's check. Yeah, this looks like it is shallow sand, right? And then we come over here, and then I think this is the beach we are at. Do, 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 do. And this is over by the other shipwreck. Let's see where shallow sands is over there. Okay. So that might be... Yeah, that's some of the... Some chick brick parts here, but I don't think it's this one. I think it's 
on the other side, or should be on the other side compared to Shallow Science, right? So it should be over here somewhere. Mm, and there's not really any shipwreck parts here. Here we go. Where we found our little Franken waddle. Yep. Let's see. Do do do. Yeah. I think that's it. So that's like the big shipwreck part, and then somewhere here we're gonna have to do some. D yeah. But ah. Uh, now it does this again. Hmm. I do kind of feel like it would it would be more immersive to have something else indicating <laughs> a treasure instead of just an arrow like this. That's it's it's just not very immersive. It would be nicer if there was just like a little mound or something, a, a little dirt mound or you know something, or you know just a, a pile of bigger pile of rock or you know something that just stands out a little bit but not as much as this this is kind of a little bit unimmersive for me at least there we go but uh, we found it cool so we got a wind up mouse which we can give to the museum nice so let's go and talk to mu i i can't even say it mu ice mu ice <laughs> mu is Muis, mu eyes, mu something. Uh, which means, oh, I should have brought one of those berries. Mm, which, of course, I didn't. Do, do, do. And we don't have any. Nope. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And they probably haven't. Nope. They haven't replenished yet. So I think we're going to have to go back home. And get, yeah, you're gonna have to go back home. I can't do anything with you. Nope. Well, I checked that last time, but I was like, maybe we can now because we, um, there's these ones, but not really what I need, but let's grab them. Uh, wanted to see if I was, I had maybe skipped some, but it doesn't look like it. What is that? Something that pops up here. Pick up. What is this? Oh, wood. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're just gonna have to go home and then remember to bring one of those berries when we come back here. Hello. But how do you guys feel about those like um, those fishing mini games? I'm really. Well, obviously not a fan, um, but I know some people do like them, but I would say it also depends on the minigame because I actually didn't mind it in Core Keeper, for, example, for instance. They did end up actually first removing it and now they want to, now they're gonna re-implement it, but they have other plans for fishing in the future anyway, so it's gonna be temporary. But well, there was actually a lot of people who were unhappy because it had been removed. But it was a more interesting and more fun minigame instead of this bar that just jumps up and down. It was kind of, it's based on on rhythm. So every th fish that you catch will have a kind of a unique one. So you kind of have to guess and then some of them are easier and harder. So you have to kind of you know, hit, the, hit the mouse key at certain times based on the movement of the fish. It was just kind of more interesting and you could kind of practice it better than you can with this, which just seems to be completely random. And I just don't have the patience for it, guys. No, <laughs> I really don't. So there we go. Let's go over here. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I got that was for the museum. I'm still running out of space in this one here. Then we have all the fishies. Yes, we need to get a make a cooking chest, that's for sure. But this and this. Uh, I used my treasure map. Yeah, I guess I'm... Oh! Oh, it's over here. I was like, where did I put this? But it was just because it ended up somewhere else. Um, and then we need it. We just need one of these. Yeah. Okay. 
let's quickly go back and do that now that we are at it right well i don't know if i'm actually gonna need the well it's for the museum so i don't think so i don't know if we could... no it was a gift for me let's try and go back without i might regret that but here we go it was bird without the mouse i put the mouse away the wind up mouse so um so i don't know if that's gonna mess things up for us now when we go back and talk to the kitty or if it just works because we it has updated the quest probably mm, yeah it's a speak to mu ice mu ice mu is <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna be saying that in different ways every time i think so let's go let's go let's go let's go but we're slowly making some progress here. Mm -hmm. Do do. And oh, we're here. Okay. Let's go up. You. Yep. And switch these around. And everything turned pink again. Yep. You have further amused me with your finding of my treasure. I shall speak with you again. You have found my favorite toy that I spent many hours batting and sweating for my amusement. I'm now done with that toy. It bores me. But you shall keep it and look upon it with wonder. Mew Eyes has spoken. I'm done with you again. Seek me out elsewhere and perhaps I shall grant you more of my treasures. Or perhaps I shall swat you soundly with my mighty paw. Ooh, please don't. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're gonna come across you in different places. Cool. And of course now I don't have any of the, the other food that we needed to um to remove this again. I wonder how long it's it stays. Uh, maybe we can just eat something else, but I don't really want to eat anything right now because I haven't used any of my energy. Uh, so we're just gonna do a little bit uh, while doing this. Well, yeah, it's just gonna look <laughs> look a little bit weird. Uh, what is that over there? Hmm. Let's see. We just have a little bit of an, an a rosy outlook outlook today. Yep. Ew. Hmm. Okay, definitely looks like there's some sunken stuff here and a lot of resources kind kind of loading around. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Oh! It disappeared. Cool. I don't know if that was because I kind of entered a different scene or if it just ran out because I don't feel like I could see any kind of like a debuff thing like up here or something. It didn't seem like there was any. Or maybe I just overlooked it because it was somewhere else. But then I'm sure you guys have noticed it because you always notice all those little things that I miss, which is good because then I figure things out that way, right? When you tell me in the comments that Oh, you should have done this, or you missed this. E? Okay, let's do that. Oh, a charcoal quill, but we need 30 of them. Wow, it's gonna take a while. Uh, hello. Rix O'Malley. Need something? Uh, oh, what do you have for sale? Oh, so we can buy oil here. Um... And a basic wrench tool equipable in your oh I can sell hmm? uh, I don't want to sell it there we go okay so I can buy oil for four or I can sell stuff which of course well it doesn't actually oh there we go yes now it updated so I could actually sell some stuff but I don't really want to do that right now uh, okay so we can buy that here do you have anything else you want to tell me? 
It ain't so bad being on my own here. I like the quiet and there's plenty that needs doing to keep the rig running, so I stay busy. But also it kind of makes sense that we can't bring everybody home, right? It just kind of makes sense that there are people who are like working or hanging out other places. It does look like we should add some stuff. See, this is kind of... Well, it's not grayed out, but uh, they're just silhouettes. Mm, this looks like an engine. Doesn't it? It looks like one of those little engine things we can make. Uh, this little part here. Or, well, this part, but what, what we need here. Uh, but I would have thought there would be like a quest for it, but it doesn't seem like this. Maybe we just have to figure it out ourselves. Uh, ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, okay, so we have to get that going, right? So that we can actually get up there and get that piece up there. Hmm, so I have to figure out what it is we're missing here. It looks like we're missing a gear and a pipe. And I think that's like a, it looks like one of those little, a motor, not an engine, a motor, I think. Gear, motor, pipe. I'm just noting it down for myself. And then we're gonna see now it's raining again and it's a storm. So now hopefully some things are gonna replenish. Mm hmm okay well let's just grab some more stuff here now now of course it got all dark fishing rod stand interesting and maybe people tourists can go fishing in town mm-hmm oh chop this as well hey okay, can I grab these no do Okay, was that everything I can do here? Yeah, okay, so we definitely need to try and figure some stuff out, but I'm assuming it's because I just have to bring those things here myself. I don't have any of them. No. Yeah, okay, interesting. Is there anything up, up top? There is something up there. Or maybe we can jump there from here. If we get up there, then maybe we can jump across. Otherwise, I don't really see a way to get up there. Interesting. Um. Okay. Nice. Lots of things to figure out here. So let's try and go over here because there's a lot of stuff in the water. Oh, mine is so deep here. Oh, look at this. Look at these jellyfishes. It's so pretty. Mm, is there anything down here? There is. Let's make sure to equip this. Because <laughs> otherwise, I am gonna drown. Okay, let's see what this is. Small ocean plant. Hey, hey, like I mentioned previously, we can plant stuff on the ground. I was just not. Or underwater, I was just not sure what or how that would work, but. We, I guess we just got an answer to that, right? Once we learn this, then we can actually do underwater planting. So I'm assuming there's gonna be some, oh, maybe that's how we can plant the jellaloons, right? They are an underwater plant, for instance. So I'm assuming there are some other ones. I have to kind of check them now some more. Oh, you look a little bit, oh, it's kind of a ray of some kind. Hmm, looked a little bit scary. But it did completely ignore me, which I'm happy about. <laughs> Let's grab this. Okay. Might be more. Can we find all of them here? Is the question. Okay, that's another one. Or oh, not another one. There's a metal barrel. There's one over here. Oh, and another power box. Grab that. Not sure what we need. Oh, need for there was a little graphical glitch there. We went invisible for a moment. Okay. Grab this. I'll have to keep an eye on my oxygen because... Well, I do have extra tanks and it should just refill automatically once um, I kind of run out. Or my, um, my scuba gear runs out and it should just refill because we do have several tanks on us. So here we go. Grab this. See, we do have four tanks. Uh, I did see something over here. And 
another one does look like maybe we can yes aha okay so we can make ocean planters now cool and it does say small so i'm guessing there's gonna be a large one maybe there is already or oh oh <laughs> but there was an, a resource there sneaky uh, okay, so now the game got... Oh, there we go. The storm has brought a bounty of new um, stuff and a new... Sh it does have shipwrecked. Okay. This kind of looked like something you could do something with, but no. Uh, okay. Where was it exactly that I couldn't go? I think it was right over there. Um, okay. But yeah, of course there's going to be more stuff that's under construction. Oh, there's something here yeah. that was an interesting looking fish hmm let's grab this oh there's another shell okay oh it's gonna get dark soon what else do we have down here mm -hmm. grab you awesome yeah, we have the re um, the recipe now, but we can still get resources from it, right? Oh, there we go. We need to eat something. So let's just try to use a bit of this slob here. Maybe one more. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Was that... Close to everything. Grab this. And. Oh, did they just get. Didn't I already. Maybe they got replenished because of the storm. I feel like I already. Dismantled these ones. <laughs> right here. Wasn't this where we came down? Over here? Hmm. Okay. Or maybe I just swam a different way around. Yeah, I feel like I saw something. Yes, here. Yeah. Okay, and... There we go. And, oh, definitely want this. Because they are a little bit more rare, it seems like. And we need a lot of them. And we're going to need it for the town. So, here we go. And yeah, I'm watching my oxygen. Because it should get replenished automatically now I just want to kind of make sure that it does once yes there we go see it's full now my my green bada is full yeah I does say I still have four small or tanks or four small air tanks but I guess because I haven't used one of them uh, yet it's being used now but I guess it doesn't get removed until it's um empty um there we go i think i think that's about it yep okay so let's go up here have a little look see uh, oh they are these are like the planters i guess this is the type of planter that we can make now right cool 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 so where is my little boat it's over here Oh, didn't I break this already? Maybe that gets replenished as well. I think it does. Because there's also one up here now. And I'm pretty sure I also break that. Yep. So I guess these things get replenished as well. That's kind of a little bit weird because I would have thought I had kind of cleared it. I would understand the other resources would get replenished. That you... You know all the, the stuff kind of just lying around on the beach and on the seafloor maybe but <laughs> the rest of it seems a little weird there we go but i'm not no i'm not gonna complain here we go let's just get it awesome okay that everything I think so now it's getting really oh no there's one right here okay getting really dark now and of course I left my lantern behind because I was not really expecting to stay out this late 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Yep. It's just, oh. Extra inventory slots that I can keep free. Yep, I do like that. Okay, let's go back. Look at these. Look so magical. Ow. Okay. Ooh. Get up. And there we go. Okay, so that was the way am I? Uh Okay. I've got tropic here. I think and there's the small island. I think that's Barnacles Island. So I think Home's over here. I could check the map, I know, but if I can learn to navigate without it for the most part, it would be kind of handy. Yes, there we go. You can see the uh, the light over there on the right when I'm except when I'm looking straight at it. <laughs> there we go. So let's go this way. Otherwise, we're gonna end up over on uh, shallow sands. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got so distracted now. I can't even remember what we were doing before. Do -do -do. And what is the? It's showing me... It's pointing to the west. What is that it wants to show me? If you look at the the compass at the top, you can see when I'm turning around there's an arrow towards the west. But I don't have an active quest right now, so I'm just wondering what it's tracking. I do have this, but wasn't that somewhere else? Well, it is over here, and I'm all the way out here. I don't think that's to the west. Uh, because that would be over that way, right? And this is actually pointing this way. Or that way behind Shallow Sands. So I don't know what that is actually pointing towards. Um, well, it might be this. The Mark Cargo. Maybe that's what it's pointing towards, even though I don't... Oh, there we go. Now I do have... Now I have an active quest up here, so that might be... Let's see, where is it pointing? No, it points that way. Uh, yep, okay, so that might be what it's pointing towards. I was just a little confused because I don't have... Ah, it's because you can't see it when you are... On, when you're actually driving the boat. See? Then it and then it doesn't... Whoop, it disappears. Aha, so I do have an active quest. I just can't see it when I'm actually sailing. <laughs> Okay, well, just slowly figuring everything out. Nice. Ooh, okay, well, I think that is it for today. I'm just gonna go and dump all of this. Um, and then we are gonna uh, continue with this uh, next time, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, do take care and happy gaming.